Some of the suggestions are that there could be, the, the authorities could be looking at negligence. Would the fact that he put her on there to begin with, I mean, would that not be seen as something that probably wasn't the, the best thing to do? If there was glass there, I don't, I don't have any reason to see why that would be something unreasonable. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old, so I've got basically two toddlers. I put them up on things all the time. If they knew that there was a risk, I mean, if this was the Michael Jackson story where Michael Jackson's hanging the baby out there, clearly yeah. the parent is negligent, no question about it. But here, if you have a wall of glass, I don't think it's unreasonable to put a child there thinking that there was glass there. <clears throat> but he was less than a foot away from it. You're four or five feet away from glass wall. How could he not tell? Could he not feel the wind? Sure. Could he not hear anything? You're 11 stories up. That's pretty high up sure. on one of these things. Sure. Were, there, were there no other exterior environmental things that were telling this man that there's no glass here? Sure. Th those are great questions. I, I don't know the answers to those questions. Again, I've had one conversation with Sam, and it was an incredibly tearful conversation. You could imagine how he feels. And his, he was literally crying, saying, I thought it was like she was at a hockey game. I thought it was like she was at a hockey game. How is the family doing? Oh, terrible. Terrible. They're, they're, in, they're still in Puerto Rico. They're wanting to get out of Puerto Rico. They're waiting for them to release Chloe, the body, to them to go. But they're at the police station now. It's, it's troublesome for them because I think there are language barriers. Uh, they're working with an attorney down there to talk to them to help them deal with that process. But as you would imagine, you know, terrible is probably the euphemism of the year to describe how they're doing. And, and, and Sam, the grandfather, is, hasn't eaten, is barely talking. It took a lot of prodding for me to even have a conversation with them. <clears throat> Have you spoken to uh, authorities there in Puerto Rico about where those initial reports came from about the child being held outside of the window? Do you I, know where that originated? I don't. I've had no conversations with, with, with the only people that we've had conversations with are Royal Caribbean. I know there's a conversation going on right now between one of my partners and Royal Caribbean. I know there's video of the incident. We're asking for them to immediately release the video to us so we can take a look at it to see what happens. We all know those video cameras all over those ships and of course you know, a video is worth a thousand words, so probably ten thousand words. But you mean surveillance video from the ship? Correct. Okay. Yeah, in that Not area like on that deck. Other passengers might have videotaped no, it. No, correct. Or right, right above there. Does the family have any video or pictures of, of the incident? Uh, uh, of the incident itself, no. There are there are some photos that that when the dad was back there later that night that I'm happy to share with you. Just come chat with me afterwards, and we'll, I'm happy to do that. Do you have fun? Of the, of, of the area, yes. Do yeah. you have photos of, of Chloe, of the family? Of I do, and we'll send it all this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you, just come get me afterwards. Also, being that it was on a cruise ship, lots of times on cruise ships there's alcohol. Do we know if, if there was alcohol involved at all in, in any of this? There was absolutely no alcohol involved. Sam is not a drinker. <clears throat> And, uh, I know he's on. There's some type of investigation. Are you also potentially, if he is charged, would you be his criminal lawyer? Or are you only? Uh... No, I, I, okay. we we do civil litigation, okay. and our firm since 1971 has basically exclusively done maritime law, helping passengers and crew members that get hurt on cruise ships. Have you talked to the parents? Because it appears it was the the father was a police officer, and then both sets of grandparents were also on this cruise from early reporting. Is that correct? That... Uh, honestly, I'm not. I, I know the mom and dad were there. The, Chloe and her older brother were there, and I know Kim's parents were there, who are Patty and Sam. That's the extent of who I know is on the trip. Have you talked to Chloe's parents directly? Yes. How are they holding up? They're, 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 besi they're beside themselves. I mean, they're, they're absolutely just horrified by what happened. It, it, it's been terrible. They're texting me nonstop. I mean, it, it's really hard to describe what they're going through at this point. Is there any talk or thought that there may be criminal charges? I don't know. I, I've seen that in the internet sphere that they're talking about that. I don't know. I don't. I don't do criminal law. Does the family have a criminal lawyer? There, there, there. We have helped them retain a Puerto Rican attorney down there who we've worked with in the past in civil litigation, just to go down there, just to help to talk with the authorities. I know one of the big problems is most of them, a lot of the people there don't speak English, so just help them with translation. But that's a civil lawyer or a criminal lawyer? That is a criminal lawyer. Yeah. Can, can you give everyone's names, please? Sure. The, the family. family? Mm -hmm. Their full names are some hyphens, so it's a little confusing. So afterwards, let me double check it so I have it right. Uh, are you for sure going to file a, a lawsuit here, or I guess well, exploring? For a, for look, it's, it, it's it's roughly forty eight hours since the incident, but and so I think there's still a lot more questions that I would want answered. But at this point, I do see a, a terrible tragedy that could have been prevented because I, I really to answer that question, I need one question answered, which is. Why are you going to put these windows in a wall of windows in a kid's play area where kids could possibly have access to this and where you're putting it in a wall of windows where it would be reasonable to think that it was all windows? Once you have that answer, then I think we'll know better.
And have you requested to board the ship or someone from your firm? Absolutely, absolutely. In a situation like this, we, we, we would always do a vessel inspection, a ship inspection. We would want to get on scene as soon as we can. I definitively know Royal Caribbean has already sent their lawyers down there to do the exact same thing. So we would want to have an equal and, and similar opportunity. That's why we've also asked for the video. And literally, there's a phone call going on now between our firm and Royal Caribbean's risk management. Is the ship out to sea yet? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Is it expected to return to Miami? I think it was it out of Canaveral. Okay. It's, it's out of San Juan. It sails out. Yeah, that was basically. Oh, is it, is it homeported in San Juan? Okay, so it must do a loop in the Caribbean through, and then go back to San Juan. And do you have any kind of details or, or approximate of when they'll be returning home to Indiana, when the body will be released, or is that still in the process? They they want to get home as quickly as possible to grieve with their family. It's my understanding that Chloe's body was going to be released today. They were working with the authorities in Puerto Rico, and once that's all tied up, they, they want to leave immediately. I will say Royal Caribbean has been as helpful as they can be in this situation. They've mm -hmm. helped them with hotel and flight, so they're doing what they can to try to make the situation a little bit more tenable for them. Is Chloe an only child? No, she has an older brother, a 10-year-old brother. And that's who played, played hockey player. Correct, he was a hockey player, yeah. And there's, there's a great photo, if you haven't seen it, where she's watching and she's banging on, on the hockey. Do you have that picture? I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I don't mean to rush, but I'm in the noon. Is there a way to get, is there someone who can yeah. get those you sent can, to us? You can just text me again or you can text Cindy. Cindy Avalon, our publicist. Okay. Okay. Go with you in Spanish, is not case? Yeah. <laughs> not with me. No. Not with me. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could. All right. <clears throat> Does it, I think there's more folks that maybe want to get let in, but I guess I can work with them afterwards. No. Uh, no. Hannah on the phone, did you have any questions? Um, gosh, I think we covered most of it. Uh, so basically, you're you're looking into a potential lawsuit right now, but you haven't you guys haven't made a decision on that yet. Well, they've re they've retained us to represent to represent them at, at this point. I do think that there are grounds for a lawsuit. I would like to get more answers. I would like to watch the video. I would like to do a little bit more due diligence. Uh, we at any given time probably have close to 100 lawsuits going against Royal Caribbean. So for us to file a lawsuit against them would be nothing unusual. Yeah, yeah. And, and you mentioned earlier that you've had dealt with incidents like this before with like the water zone, is that correct? I know that that was like at the beginning of the call. Yes, the, the, the analogy I drew, we, we just related to the location of it, was that there were, over the past five years or so, there was a number of drownings in these water parks on the ships. And we represented several families that lost children or nearly lost children. Uh, we fought very hard and ultimately forced the cruise ships to put lifeguards on their on their ships, particularly the ones by the pools, because believe it or not, they had these these kid friendly pool areas without lifeguards. Yeah, yeah. Carnival and being the one exception that there's not. Why this window lifeguards. was open um, when, like, I don't know, is that typical for one of these panes to be open in this area? I, I know you said most ships, the newer ships, don't do that, but. I, it, so it's it. My understanding is that passengers can open these windows whenever they want. So it, it, it seems like an uncontrolled thing. So why it was open, I don't know. I, and I can't rule out at this point yeah. that maybe that Chloe actually opened the window. I don't know that, but it, it seems like a distinct possibility. So you don't know who opened the window to begin with? It could have been a family member or someone else? Oh, I can say with near certainty it wasn't a family member who opened the window, okay. but I don't know who opened the window. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, everybody.